Hi guys and thanks for joining me in my latest video on this what you call cold, wet, wintry day on the 2nd of March 2018. In this video, it's video number 7 in my how much is da 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 item worth on eBay. So in this episode, episode 7, it's going to be about the Dreamcast. Like the consoles, some games, accessories, for example, all going to be UK based, UK PAL, P A L. Bite nows, best offers, auction prices, bundles, for example. What I'll do first is I'll tell you a bit about the Dreamcast, and, uh, and then I'll get on to how much a bit's worth. So let's make a start. So we've got here, if you didn't know, this was a Dreamcast, there, a bit about just what it was, for example, there. Um, so, for example, in the EU, European Union, um, October the 14th, 1999, which was release date, it wasn't really around that long, to be honest. Uh, it sold 9.13 million units there. Um, for example, it had on the back of the um, Dreamcast a line in connection, so your internet, the old dial up internet connection stuff there. Um, it was de development as early as 95 there. Obviously, its competition was the PS2 there. It really didn't go that well, it de declined shortly after 2000, 2001, to be honest. I got my one in two. Two, early 2001. Um, mine's different to some I'm going to show you there. Uh, what else? Ne NASA controller. This bit here on the left hand side goes into the back or top, top back of the actual Dreamcast. And, and, and you can see bits on, on the screen there, for example. Um, that's one of the games, Sonic Adventures 2, I believe, which was a great game. What else have we got there? And lots of different games that are on the Dreamcast, for example. Um, so, yeah, there. So, what I'll do now is I'll pop on to show you some of the bits I found while I've been researching. So, the first one is the Samba Amigo there. Sorry, I always wanted to own a Samba Amigo. I know. Ben Fitzpatrick, obviously as you know, he's picked up the Samba Amigo really cheaply, or quite cheap. It's a Dreamcast game. It's boxed, completed, and PAL. So all these are PAL, and people from UK have got them on sale. Um, have sold them, I should say. This went for four bids, winning bid of one hundred and thirty-three pound. It started at eighty-nine pound there, went up to one hundred and thirty-three pound there. Let me just put my glasses on. I forgot to put them on. It's easier to see there. Two seconds, guys. Oh, there we go. I can see. It has free postage there. Uh, it's got, came with mar maracas. <laughs> like these red things there. You plug it in, I believe. There's the game, San Bramigo, in a nice condition. It has the online functions. So you're basically like, duh, 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 a bit like Guitar Hero, if you know what I mean. So, for example, did that, all that. The next one here is another Samba am Amigo, just to show you the decent picture there they put off. With some pieces there. This one went for another winning bid of 130 there. So, you're looking at, mm, it started at 100, by the way. So, you're looking at, over 100 definitely for a nice decent boxed Samba Amigo. They're quite rare I think with including the maracas and the game and stuff like that. A bit like the dance games on the PS2, the dancing ones, you dance mats and that but it's slightly different so you all going to da, 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 with all the <laughs> Samba um, maracas and all that you know what I mean. 
and he got three pound fifty on postage there on the tenth of February. And the next one is just the um Moho. It's it's a very rare PAL game for the Dreamcast there. Um it's sold quite hefty for £199.99 on the 9th of January. Uh, £3.50 on postage there. Um, so, you probably won't find that out in the wild, but I thought I'll show you some rare games to some commons as well. The next one here is a nice little box cannon spike. I've played this around the friends many years ago. But I've never actually seen it out in the wild. Because most of these ca um, cases come cracked or broken. As you see at the top, in very brittle, for example. I've also put a free postage there. That's a nice little game to look out for. If if you can source it, for example. I'm not sure what it goes for, but this one went for £200. So it must be another rare game, for example. Oh, this is a nice one. The Sega Bass Fishing, or Bass Fishing. Base. I I'll just call it base, for example. It's a nice one. It's got the um oh here's a better one. The Dreamcast base. So you basically whacking it out. And it's all like um what what's it called? A, a bit like the Wii, for example. You can um it's got you to the screen basically. And um basically you catch fish in this game. It's got a box so it went for £182.10 and p with £2.90 postage. £5 it started off and went all up to £182.10. So it looks like, on the bidding side, a very good game to have. The Sega Bass Fishing, or Bass Fishing, whatever you call it. It's got the game uh, as well, to the right. I'm not sure it's a great game, but it's quite a game that pe people really like to have there. Um, so... It's like an interactive thing where you just basically, you know what it is, anyway, it's basically like fishing. Anyway, oh, this one, I had to include Shemu. This is Shemu 1, the more, uh, the less rare game, game that's um, not so, so rare. Then you've got Shemu 2, or Shemu 2, or I, I just got Shemu 2, a great game, never played it. I know Ben Fitzpatrick has got this game. I've got Shemu there. On a um, the Dreamcast, I bought mine for forty pound about two years ago now. Um, let's see the pictures. The boxes are a bit rubbish, and I got a bit of sellotape down the bottom. Shemu one and Shemu two. Shemu two is a better box. It's got all the discs and that, so it went for one hundred and twenty nine ninety nine. So that's one two nine dot nine nine divided by two. So that's £64.99. Um, £64 Nearly 65 quid basically for both games there. It's free collection anyway, so and collection delivery for example, all UK in PAL and that, which is good. I think more you're more likely to find Shemu, the first one. It's got your online functions. It's still a good game for the graphics wise. To this day, there is, if I'm right in saying, in the pipeline, some point in over the next two or three years, a Shemu remaster. But I, have, I can't remember where I heard that, but somewhere I heard it. It was going to be a Shemu remaster, which would be good. Can't wait for that. Oh, this is a nice Samba Amigo game. Very nice boxed. No cracks there. Um, a bit, little bit light wear. A bit of a wear and tear with age, but £119.96 I got. Because the person saved £29.99 with a 20% um, off offer, like it's a little sale thing. So it was going to be £149.95, but it saved £29.99, which was good, with free postage for that one. I think like Samba Mi Migo is quite a fun game. Oh, it's from the Sonic team now. I didn't realise that. Um, it's a bit like um, uh, the Donkey Kong game where you hit the drums and you're clapping like hitting the drums. It's, they're quite fun. 
like the um, Guitar Hero games and the um, games like the, the older games on the PS2, where you on the dance mats and stuff like that. So they're quite fun for a while. They might get really annoying, but there. The next one I wanted to show you was just this one, Shemu One and Shemu uh, Two. There. Uh, where do you have a Shemu? Oh, excuse me. That one. That one. I showed you this one. The reason I showed you another one is for different pictures they have taken. For example, this one's taken slightly different pictures. There, if you've got the boxes, there, and stuff like that. Because I think, like, you need to take, you need to make sure all your pictures on anything you sell are not blurry. Make sure you crop them and make sure you can use 12 photographs for free. Make sure you get all your photos in within the actual um, area you're going to use and, and crop them. Um, White backgrounds are better, I believe. So if you don't have that, then do it on like, like we're down here on a little pine background. Because this one is pretty good as well. They've done it on some sort of ruggy thing. And that's pretty good. Uh, that one went for £99.95 with free the standard postage there. Obviously at the moment, as we all know, it's quite heavy with the post um postage quite heavy with, with the snow and the blizzards and stuff and the roads are quite bad. So whatever you're sending now will take two to three more days longer to get to wherever they did. Which obviously you notify your people who brought your items anyway. So Oh, this is a nice game, Evil Twin. I've never played this, but I've seen it online many times. They do say it's very good condition. Evil Twin, Evil Twin, Krypton's Chronic Chronicles. Uh, for the Sega Dreamcast, the power version, seventy nine ninety nine with two pound eighty four postage there. So you got the game, nice little condition there. They're always good. These little points where the game goes to um, have not broken. I to say, let me know down in the comments if you prefer what sort of game games um, game game boxes you prefer, because I don't really like the um, Dreamcast game boxes. You see, see here, they're very brittle. The sides, PS ones are much better. You've got the game in the front. Normally, you've got the game in the front. This is on the back. You've got the game in the front normally. Then you've got the back. Which if you've got another one, and then you've got the actual um, manual, whatever bits come with it. Why can't you just do it in the, in the front? It's totally random. And they break really easily. They're the worst cases, I think, anyway. For the Dreamcast cases, they're bad. Anyway, next one is is, is another here. Just Shenmue 2, which is... Um, these days, it's quite rare. Not very rare, but quite rare. It's in good condition. The Sega Dreamcast Power version, £75 they got with free postage, obviously UK and all that. And it might be posted worldwide, for example, most of some of these on and that. And they've got everything there in very good condition. Odd scratch here and there, I would, I would imagine, there. So if you're looking out, because Shemu, the first one is more of a game you can see. I think like CEX they charge forty pound or something for the game there, but this one I've never seen. But Ben Fitzpatrick's got this game. I've seen it about, but it's come too expensive for what I can afford. So hopefully one day I'll be able to pick it up. Which it's on my bucket list, gaming wise, just gaming wise, to pick up this game. It's a cracking quality game. Follows on from the first Shemu and that. Obviously, it needs to be 11 plus. It's, 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 it's got quite a lot of violence and stuff like that, a bit of nudity and all that. It's basically like, like GTA, slightly, in the world where you just like walk around places and you can play games, have food, fight people, drive vehicles. Pretty good for like 2000, 2001, for example, there. Next one is just the Shemu 2. This is on the winning bids. So they got sixty-four pounds, sixty-seven. Sorry, pound fourteen starts at nine pound ninety-nine. So it is. It even they even had a cancelled 
bid there. So someone really wanted the game, which is fair enough because it's um, a game of choice anyway. I would pick it up anyway. So he said it's very good. A couple of light scratches, conditional light scratches, some edge wear to the slip case, which is fair enough. They're putting it in like for a collection or something. So quite a lot of collectors will bid for these type of games. I would if I could, but it, it, they're always priced. A bit like um, Mario Kart's on Nintendo 64 and Mario Party 1, 2, 3 and all that. They always price yourself out on, on eBay. They go sky high, rocket sky high, which is a shame. Because I really would like that game, them games, plus this one as well. Obviously, as I say, I've got Shemu 1 in good condition. Not the best condition, but it's the way it goes in gaming. Oh, this, this one, I thought I'd do the Shemu first one, how much it goes for. Normally, between, you can get it for 30 quid. Normally, 30, between 30 and 70. This one was 65 on a winning bid. Also, the Shenmue 2 is more expensive. Um, for example, they put out a pound. Wow. A pound there, for example. And it went all the way up, as you see, 65 quid. So it's still a game worth having there. Shenmue 1. Great graphics, great game. Oh, beautiful. And £3.50 on postage, obviously. There. Um... And discs are immaculate, as they say there. Whether they are or not, fair enough. This one, because last one was on a bidding process. This one was just normal. Got £55.80 50, with free postage there. Uh, from your local Argos there. Uh, includes the outer card sleeves, instruction books, and all that. In pretty good condition there. Fair enough, your wear and tear on the edges. You always get that when you take in and out quite a lot, place it wherever you want to place it, for example. Uh, next one I thought I'd choose, because I looked at all these prices and stuff beforehand, done a bit of research, as I always do on these how much I did are worth on eBay um, in the series. This one's a nice one, House of Dead 2. It's got the box, the game, and the um, Dreamcast guns, all on PAL. There's the box. Obviously, it's a bit battered, but where it goes. Nice little guns there. Official guns. You can get third-party guns. And what I noticed on this one is it's got quite a lot of sticker residue. So you'll need to get some spray or swap the case over if you haven't got any spray, for example. So they managed to get, with free postage, managed to get £51 on a winning bid there. It's pretty good. Where it started at £25.99. With £51 that went up to. So I would recommend you get some some disc cleaner. Because you don't if you're a collector, you don't want sticker residue on like that. That's um a CX, I think, yeah. Must be a CX um sticker there. It's gone through CX, eBay, all that. So there, that's a nice little one. Uh this one needs the classic Crazy Taxi and Crazy Taxi 2. Crazy Taxi was a better game. I reckon, for me, I've got this game anyway in my collection. Pretty decent condition there. Obviously, as, as I say before, I don't really, I don't really like the cases on these. To be honest, they're very brittle, and they're not as good as PS1 cases. Um, it sold for forty-four pound ninety-nine, which is like, um, excuse me, my math is awful. £22.49 there. I could have worked it out, but my maths is rubbish. I managed to get £3.49 in postage there, which in a very good condition. So it's, it's, it's worth checking what games you've got, if you want for your collection, or if you want to sell on eBay or whatever else. It's worth checking what you can get. Because Crazy Taxi, I'd reckon probably about one, two, three quid. Most of these I've shown you so far, you, you could probably get from your local car boot. Maybe Shenmue 2 is a harder one to get. So, for example, like that uh, Shenmue, oops, Daisy, Shenmue 2 there is quite harder to, to get than that. Um, where do I get to? E even this one, I probably reckon, probably be at least a tenner if you're picking up from a car boot between 8 and 10. You can get them down a bit more, but 
it's worth it though, because obviously they've got a winning bid of that. Anyway, Resident Evil 2, what a game. I think Resident Evil 1 is the best game, the first one. But this one is right up there with it. In immaculate condition. There. Yeah. Capcom, obviously, it's 15. So they managed to get £45.95 with free, fast and free postage there. Which is good though, because obviously it's UK PAL, so it's got all the bits as you need. There. A little bit of um, a sticker there, which you can probably use your peel off gently. So it's worth checking what you have, to be honest. It's a nice game. I love Resident Evil series. My favourite is Resident Evil 4. Oh, obviously, as people know. Oh, what I thought I'd do is I'd check this one. This, this is Choo Choo Rocket. It includes the Dream Key 1.5. Right, Choo Choo Rocket is quite a good game. I've got this in my collection there. So, no, no, that's a bit, that's the best version. It's not very good pictures because they're showing time's legs. <laughs> so, it, it, they really need, the person really needs to crop it. There, it's quite a good game actually. There, but this is the dream key here. This is for the internet, so you need the, you need to put the dream key in for the internet. So download it, put it in, download it, and then the back of a console. Some some of them, the later versions, got the internet connection like dial up internet cable cable you put in. The one version that I've got doesn't have that. It's, it's weird. I've got the earlier versions that doesn't have that. I think it's got the internet connection but it's not got the um, VGA cables and I, I'll show you in a bit. It's a nice game to pick up. These are only like 4 four twenty. would we bid £4.20 there. So let me have some little bit of water here. So I started at 99p there and went up to 420 You may be looking at 6 m quid for a good version there. Oh I'd possibly say seven quid. You wouldn't fifty P for that, maybe a pound. If it's if it's has hasn't got the has not got the Dream Key there, one point five version, then fifty P. But if it has got the Dream Key version then a pound is sufficient to pay for that at a car boot or a charity shop for example. Next one is the Tomb Raider Chronicles game. I thought I'd show you some cheaper games there by Core and Edos. £14.65 with free postage there. Good original UK condition. It's a great game. I've got this. I've got it on um, PS1 as well. I think the graphics on the PS1 are slightly better, but we will have our different opinions. The next one, oh, both. The Last Revelation and the Chronicles. I thought I would do that. Compare this one, uh, the individual one, to this one. So they got £19.99, um, either free collection there or £3.49, I couldn't tell there. So it's in um, very good condition. So it's always, if you've got like a couple of Tomb Raider games, it's always worth bundling out the games for Tomb Raider on the Dreamcast there. It, it's worth it. Possibly, if you've only got the one, then it's very good condition, no no cracks or scratches, then possibly you get 14, 15 quid. But you, you probably could get, for these two, over 20, but they got 19.99, which is fair enough. God. Sorry, I'm just looking out the window. It's a proper blizzard in Epsom at the moment. Um, This is the one, the Dream Key. Can you, before I say, can you tell the difference? Right, what's happened in this one? I'll give you a few seconds. That's right. They've resealed. Someone has resealed this uh, Dream Key internet disc. reason they've resealed it because, and they've marked it as new and sealed there, which annoys me, because it's got a crack that's on the inside of the um, uh, sealed, so it's um, it says here, new sealed, one cracked a case. It's not new or sealed. They've resealed it. 
I believe. Might be wrong, and uh, it's got a crack in between. But if it had a, cr if someone lent on it and had a crack, it might have ripped the um, seal. So I believe they've resealed it again before that and, cr and cracked it. Anyway, they got six pound for it and free collection for postage there. So you need, and again, you need the dream key to put in the um, gaming. Uh, the Sega Dreamcast system, console system, right, um, to have your internet. It's quite a few of the later games went on the internet. The crap internet had back then, dial up rubbish, you know what I mean? But still, you, could, you can get it working with di different cables. For example, this is my, as I've shown you before, my Dreamcast cable. It's not like a VGA, it's just an ordinary cable. So, red, white, and blue. Red, white, and the um, yellow cables stick into a SCART lead, stick it into the back of the actual um, Dreamcast wallop. You can play on um, uh, flat tellies, decent tellies, because normally back in the two early 2000s, you played on the big flat tellies. The next one I picked out, oh, I picked out some gaming stuff and some merchandise as well. This is a good one, it has everything that you need. In very good condition. A winning bid of £315 with £15 postage there. So it's power again. It started at 25 quid. Went up to 315 Luckily, went up to 315 there. So, oh, then we will wait till it comes back. So it's got like the Shemu's. Oh, that Shemu is not in the actual box. So it, a little bit less can have there. I've got some memory, visual memory cards, visual memories. Tomb Raider's got a crack in it. Still, and a nice little keyboard there. So it's got a keyboard controller, the mouse, the uh, nice little arcade stick, the planet ring. Don't panic. <laughs> I think that's a Japanese version. Yeah, it is. So it says here what it's got. Games as follows. Da -da 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 -da. Soul Calibur, Brain Man. So I thought I'd just show you that. What you can get for a big, fat, nice, juicy bundle. The next one is just the Dreamcast white console plus one controller boxed and the visual memory boxed and the Dreamcast is boxed there. So I'll just go through. There's the um, official Dreamcast controller out in the actual nice bag, regional bag. There's the, in the official box, which I've got. Um, which I have the official box. Uh, this is new apparently. Winning bid of two hundred thirty-five quid with fifteen pound fifty on postage there. So they started this at twenty-seven pound fifty for some random reason. Luckily, it went up to that much because they would have lost a lot of money on that compared to what they probably brought it beforehand or what. So yeah, just just comparing different prices for these consoles and stuff. It's a nice one. A PAL white console box with games. Because some of these, this is a nice one because it hasn't yellowed at all. Quite a lot of these consoles and controllers and stuff are yellow. As we all know, the older stuff, yellow quite a lot in the sun or or at, yellow with age, for example, there. So they've got Jet Set Radio. Never heard of that. Oh, Power Stone. Oh, the Power Stone series. And Crazy Taxi 2 in good condition there with the uh, vibration pack, the ultimate gaming system for the Dreamcast. There, not a bad one, you free and fast postage. The next one, as say, there it's a little bit yellowed on the sides and the round the corners a bit. It's just a, a, the official PAL console only. So, I wanted to just show you a console only how much that's worth. So they got £50 on the money on the dot, 50 quid, free postage, uh, PAL UK obviously and all that. So this is what I'm saying, the back, they've got the line in, which is a line for the internet connection, the dial up, back in the early 2000s. This one's got the AV out, serial and the AC in. I'm not sure if mine has or not, but it's something, something weird on it. That's why I've got my cable that I've shown you to put in for the... Um, uh, Scott leads and that when I get a chance to set it up. 
So that's what you can get. So you're probably looking at about between 35 to 50, 50 being the uh, top rate you can get for a official Dreamcast gaming console there. The next one I picked out is the boxed arcade stick. So it's there, it's here in the nice official seal with, with the instructions. So it's basically you plug it in the back of the console, then you just, just play a bit like the arcades, as, as you know. Nothing more to say about that one. It got £109.99 new box with free standard delivery there. So it's very good. More, you're looking more at car boots for these type of stuff. Obviously, if you're getting the consoles and the bigger bundles, you've got to check from the car boots, you've got to check. Or you may be able to get from auctions and that, you've got to check. I know it's harder from auctions, you can, but you can pre check the auctions that everything's in the boxes, everything's correct, not broken, the game's not broken. The, the boxes are not dodgy and round the edges are not ripped to pieces, ripped to buggery, stuff like that. And, you, and you've got like a nice seal and that. And you've basically all in good condition. It's all there. That's why you've got to check in the chat shops as well. They always ask you, have you checked the game? Blah, 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 blah. Yes, I've checked it. Thank you. I wouldn't be bad buying it if I hadn't checked it. Huh. Anyway, the next one is an unsealed, unboxed version of the Dreamcast official joystick. The um, which they call the arcade power stick, which is it basically what it is. So they got the power version. They got sixty nine ninety nine with um nine it's either nine pound fifty in economy delivery or click and collect. I'm not sure what they chose the person there, but it's very good actually. Um, it's basically in, it's a used one, but in very good used condition. Probably unused. I reckon used two or three times, for example, to show you this one at the back, where the actual lead lead is, the X, Y, Z, A, B, C, all that jazz. So they managed to get 109 boxed and 69.99 unboxed. So where where do you find that in the wild? Is I don't know. I'm not even, not even sure if that's a, a good price or not. I know it's a good price anyway, but I'm not sure what they go for realistically, because that's obviously obviously you'll do your own research, and that's deeper into research for the type of Dreamcast ones. The next one is just um, the official Dreamcast PC keyboard with box boxed one there. A, a little bit of um, wear and tear on the box at the bottom, as you see there. I managed to get a winning bid of twenty one pound. And free delivery. So here it goes. Uh, 99p they started at, and 21 pound delivery. There. So I'm. Th it's basically like quite a good one because some of the games you needed to. I think. Do let me know down below if if I'm correct. Some of the games you needed the controller, uh, the keyboard. There. The last one I wanted to show you is just. The keyboard boxed as well in a nice condition. Um, this one was a bid, and this one was um, sold for twelve ninety nine free postage there. So it's round about averagely priced, I, I think. For the there, you've got the actual um, bit, bit sticking to the back, for, uh, uh, sorry, in, into the front. Yeah, so that's just a brief look into the Dreamcast games games and the um, merchandise and the accessories you can get and these completed and sold UK PAL um, sold for auctions buy it now best offers for example so if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up a like uh, share this video hit the notifications bell and turn the notifications bell on so you get notifications on my channels hope you're doing well and the weather's not affecting you too much and what I'll do, I'll say thanks for watching guys, cheers, I'll see you later, have fun.